This tutorial is all about backgrounds. They are organized in our background tool drawer. The most common category is paper. They are organized by color and by theme, which is located in our paper packs under designers or manufacturers. If you want to select a solid color, you would choose color. You can also collect texture, which includes things like wood, rock, grass, different textures. You can also create custom backgrounds, and that we'll do in another tutorial. One thing to remember, a background is always the bottom layer. You can also apply background to all pages in a quick mix, which that is a great time saver. This here is the first page of our downtown quick mix. There's some personalizing that we would like to do. I'm going to start by resizing the photo box. I'm just going to drag onto my page and you can see it's below other layers. So if you haven't watched Understanding Layers, that would be a good tutorial for you to watch. But we're just going to bring our photo box forward. And now I'm going to resize it. Now this one, I can grab my, my tops, corners. You don't need to worry about skewing any photo. And then I'll simply drag my photo in. And then I'm going to go grab some embellishments. And I think we're going to go for no, these flowers here. Say OK. I'm going to resize them a little bit by grabbing the corner. And then I'm going to make a copy of those. This one I've pasted in place. We'll just drag another copy over here. I'm going to mirror those. And then I'm going to bring my photo forward. So they'll be sitting on top. And then I think I want to try and see how a different background would look. So I'm going to come to my backgrounds, click on paper, and we'll try these blue dots. So you can see just how easy it is to change a background and the different looks you can create, yet you haven't wasted any paper. And as easy as that, you can undo it and go back to where you started from.